All right, you're back here at the Golden Globes. Tell me about that first moment when, when Guillermo first probably explained to you what Shape of Water was going to be about. Well, we were having sushi, and he told me uh, he was writing this story about a merman and, and, a, and a mute uh, cleaning lady. So, it, you know, it leaves you a bit perplexed until you, you read the script and see the first drawings. You know, Guillermo draws all the time. Everything in this film is drawn by him in advance. So everything takes shape when you see the uh, visual that he's preparing. And then I saw the film and I was completely amazed by the beauty of it. Was it an immediate reaction in terms of what you thought you could do or did it take you a little time to figure it out? I knew what I, I should not do. I knew that I should not do a, movie, a music that would be too overwhelming, that would be scary, genre. Uh, that I needed to find a beautiful love theme. So that's why I went to, to, to look for first. He called it when we interviewed him a fairy tale for troubled times. Yes. That term did that did that help you as you worked on the music? Of course, because in the fairy tale there's all these uh, dilemmas uh, between the characters, you know, the, and the combat between the good and the bad, and uh, and the twist that you can have in the, in the fairy tale. But also uh, the troubled times we know what they are. It's dividing people, uh, bringing out hate instead of love. And uh, the movie is the opposite of that. It's just about equity, solidarity, uh, humanism. Um, it's what we need to hear and watch. Well, good luck tonight. I don't think you need luck. I think you've got this one locked down, but good luck anyway. Thank you very much.